Today on Stock Charts in Focus, we're hitting ACP from a new perspective. For all you Sharp Charts users out there, we're going to talk about how you can use some of the features of our new advanced charting platform. Take advantage of some of the value that's there, even if you're running most of your process out of Sharp Charts. Now, I'm still a big, big Sharp Charts user myself, but I get a ton of value out of ACP using a lot of the interactive features, some of the data views, plugins, a whole bunch of stuff that we're going to touch on things that you can incorporate into your process as well. Again, even if you're running most of your process out of Sharp Charts. So lots to cover on today's show with seven important points, seven things that you're going to want to see. Of course, you know what it is. It's all new. It's all here. It's Stock Charts in Focus. my friends welcome to the show thank you so much for joining me stock charts in focus here our product focus show on the channel where we dig into the site dive into the features show you around the tools and help you get more value out of stock charts that's our mission here on this show every friday helping you unlock more value from stock charts today's show going to be a great one to do it as we talk about how to get more value out of acp even if you're running most of your process out of sharp charts. Lots to cover on today's show. If you're new to the show, my name is Grayson Rose, Vice President of Operations here at StockCharts.com. So good to have you. Today's episode is going to be a very fun one as we hit seven of the most important points around ACP, seven crucial features that I want to make sure that you're aware of in case you want to take advantage of some of the things that we're offering over in ACP. Now, I am still, as I mentioned, a big, big Sharp Charts user. A lot of my process runs out of Sharp Charts, but more and more, a lot of it runs out of ACP as well. I personally find that blending these two worlds, these two platforms, these two charting styles together is the best way to do it. But we've heard this question from a lot of people. You know, I'm still using Sharp Charts. What's ACP good for? I don't want to move over there entirely. How can I get some value out of it? That's what today's show is going to address. We're going to talk about seven of the most important, easiest, best ways to take advantage of ACP, even if you're using Sharp Charts as your primary tool. So lots to cover on today's show. Going to be a fun episode as always. Before we do that, a little bit of housekeeping. I want to remind everyone our holiday special is going on right now. So what's going on this month for a limited time only? You can actually get up to two free months of stock charts when you sign up or renew. So if you're a free user, you're not currently a stock charts member, you can actually sign up right now and get up to two free months of stock chart service, stock charts membership uh, when you take advantage of this holiday special. If you are a current stock charts member, you can still take advantage of this special. You can actually extend your account out into the future by that extra time. And we're going to give you those two free months on top of it. So if you sign up or renew for 12 months, we're going to give you two months free. If you sign up or renew for six months, we're going to give you one month free. So it's a great deal. Some of our best pricing of the year. If you missed our Cyber Monday special, which is actually our best pricing of the year, one day only though, we only run that on Cyber Monday. If you missed that, this is the sale to take advantage of. It's really not going to come around until next year. Uh, we generally only run these sales at the uh, at the very end of the year. So definitely catch our holiday special right now. The easiest way to do that, go to stockcharts.com slash special. Uh, but you can also look for some of those banners around the site. We've got uh, tons and tons of banners up for you to make it easy to find. So stockcharts.com slash special, limited time only. Want to remind everyone, it is the best time of the year to sign up for a new account or to extend your membership out in the future. So definitely take advantage of that. With that housekeeping out of the way, we can move on to the meat of our show. We're going to jump over to ACP now and talk about some of the most important features that you want to take advantage of. Even if you're running most of that process out of Sharp Charts, there's still tons that you can explore in ACP. So let's do it. So welcome to ACP. Now, what we've tried to do with ACP is build an interactive charting experience, very dynamic, very fluid, allows you to kind of control your charts with your hands in a way. 
But the other thing that we've tried to do is build a true platform. So as you're gonna to see today, there's a lot of data views that you can build in. Uh, you can build custom dashboards through our multi-chart layouts features. You've got plugins from, uh, from expert technicians that have been building their indicators and their tools into ACP as well. We even have things like trading built right into ACP. So there is a ton to explore here. Now we are gonna fly on today's show. We're gonna cover a ton and we're really just gonna kinda hit these seven points. We're not gonna go into each one in great detail because it would take us uh, quite a long time. But I do wanna remind everyone before we really get going, we've got a ton of resources for you. First and foremost on this show, if you go back to some of our previous episodes, we've covered a ton of the different features of ACP in the past. So that's a great resource for you. Uh, but we've also got our support team. They are right there waiting for you to answer any questions that you have. We've got lots and lots of documentation on ACP. You can actually find that by coming up to this little question mark in the top right corner. Look for that ACP help docs link. You can also take a tour of ACP. That'll remind you maybe you know where some of these features are, how to use them, that kind of thing. But we've got lots and lots of resources to help you learn more. So as we're going through today's show, if you see something that's interesting, you see something that you want to uh, explore, something that you want to come back to, we've got lots of documentation, lots of help, lots of resources for you to help you learn more about that stuff. The best way to learn, though, is really to just kind of jump over the platform, explore it, see how things work, see where things are, and just play around. So you're gonna see a lot on today's show. Hopefully that'll help you get up and running. Definitely spend some time with what you see, but you can also look for those resources after the show. So as I mentioned, we're gonna talk about seven different features around ACP. And today's show is really designed for Sharp Charts users that are curious about ACP. Uh, we here at Stock Charts wanna give you the most value that we possibly can. So the fact that we now have these two different charting platforms, we've got our original award-winning legacy tool in Sharp Charts, a fantastic tool, something that we are continuing to invest heavily in. We've got big, big plans for Sharp Charts coming in 2022. Not going anywhere. I want to reiterate that. I like to say that Sharp Charts not going anywhere, not leaving stock charts by any means. We're going to keep making that platform better and better. But we've got that tool and we have our interactive advanced charting platform, really kind of that dynamic all in one, everything right there in front of you in one page, in one tool, in one platform. We've got that, that those two charting platforms for you. And really the idea there is we wanna offer you as much charting power as we can. Now we do know though, that some people who are running their, uh, their process out of sharp charts are seeing some of the things that are happening over in ACP and saying, hey, you know, I'm using this as my primary tool, but that looks really interesting. How, what does that do for me? How can I take advantage of some of these things that I'm seeing over there? So. This show is really intended to answer that question. So what we're gonna look at, seven different features around the platform, helping you get more value out of ACP, even if you're primarily using Sharp Charts. So first up, all of your Sharp Charts, all your saved charts, all your saved chart lists, all the stuff that you've created in the Sharp Charts world, if you will, is already in ACP. I wanna remind everyone that all of that good stuff is already in ACP. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, over here on the right side of the platform, we're gonna jump here first. All of your save charts, all your save chart lists are already here in our chart list sidebar. What we've actually done is built basically a way to take those sharp charts and create ACP versions of them in ACP. So we wanted to make it really easy for people to kind of move over to ACP or explore the ACP world without having to recreate everything over there. So first and foremost, don't forget that all of your sharp charts, all your save charts, all your save chart list, all that work that you've put into all that stuff, it's actually right there in ACP for you. So you can come over to this chart list sidebar, you can click this sharp charts tab, and as you can see when I open up this menu, all of the lists that I've created in the sharp charts world, they're all right there. Now when I open up any one of these, for instance, let's do this list for instance, uh, all of those uh, those sharp charts that I've saved, all the symbols, all the uh, the settings, everything are actually already in here. So that is the quickest way to come and explore some of the ACP features uh, without having to kind of leave your charts behind. You don't have to set everything up from scratch. You can actually just jump over to ACP, access those sharp charts lists. Now you can do that actually in two places. So we do have the chart list sidebar here on the right. 
But if you want a little bit more space to work with your lists, you can also open up the drawer. So at the bottom of the screen, we have what we call the chart lists drawer. Now this is where your ACP list will go if you start creating ACP chart lists. But in this menu, you can see that at the very top of it, there's actually a little divider that says ACP chart lists. So when I scroll down here, there's another divider in this menu that says Sharp Charts chart lists. So we can actually access all of our Sharp Charts chart lists uh, right from the ACP drawer. Here we're looking now at a Sharp Charts list, but in ACP. Now when I click any of these, it's gonna quickly pull that ticker symbol up into the chart. So I can actually start to play around uh, with ACP using my existing lists, my existing saved symbols, and all of that good stuff. So that is our first stop. I wanna remind everyone that all of your save charts, all that good stuff is already in ACP for you uh, in the drawer and in the sidebar. Now there are a couple key features. So when you load in a Sharp Charts chart list, and you click that symbol, again, what we're gonna do is basically create an ACP version of the saved chart that you created over in the Sharp Charts world. If though, you wanna set up ACP with some new crazy indicators, you wanna change things around, you wanna kind of explore some of the features of ACP, but you would just wanna bring in those lists, you just wanna bring in those symbols, we actually have a feature right here called Load Symbol Only. So I'll show you the, uh, I'll try to show you the difference here. Now my ACP charts and my sharp charts are pretty similar, but you should be able to see this. When I turn load symbol only off, we'll actually make this a little bit smaller so we can see the, uh, the chart just a little bit better. If I hit something like ACM, what you're seeing now is actually a, an ACP version of the saved sharp chart that I have. So all those, uh, those settings that I've created in sharp charts, Things like turning the full quote on, turning on the verbose legends, uh, all the different indicators that I have, the RSI and the, uh, the price relative line here, the different moving averages, the styles, price labels, all that stuff is actually gonna get pulled over. So this is basically an ACP version of a sharp chart. If, however, all I wanna do is just kind of pull in the symbol, well, we can turn on that load symbol only checkbox. Now, if I get over to a chart that's very different, for instance, something like my Bollinger Bands chart, we'll show you how this works. If I turn on load symbol only and I click any of the things from this list, that's gonna ignore all of the saved settings that come with these charts, and it's gonna use all of the settings that are on the chart that I have already up on the screen. In essence, it's gonna load just the symbol from the list that I click. So if we go back, we click ACM again. Well, now we can see that the chart actually hasn't changed. Uh, all we've done is load that ticker symbol into the middle of the screen. So this allows you, the key here is that this allows you to actually play around with some of the ACP features, play around with some of the indicators. We're gonna talk about plugins here in just a sec, talk about how you can take advantage of those. Uh, and you can actually do that with all of your Sharp Charts lists without sort of stepping on things uh, by turning on that load symbol only feature. So, this I find is actually another great way for Sharp Charts users to take advantage of ACP. If you come over to ACP and you create some advanced charts that have some different sets of indicators, you can actually do basically what we're doing. You can pull up one of your Sharp Charts lists, put up a uh, sort of a crazy, wacky, wild chart in the middle of the screen, and then you can actually flip through that Sharp Charts list uh, with that chart up on the screen. So. For instance, now we're looking at Adobe, we've got that Bollinger Band style. And instead of pulling in that sort of saved chart, all those settings that we have with that sharp chart, we can, uh, can just look at sort of the ACP chart that we have up on the screen. So another great way I find to take advantage of some of these ACP features, come over here, load in your existing sharp charts list, turn that load symbol only checkbox on, and you can actually sort of chart around your, uh, your ACP, uh, chart around your sharp charts chart lists with some ACP features up on the screen. So our first stop on today's tour, first of seven, take advantage of some of those uh, already incorporated Sharp Charts features. You got the drawer at the bottom of the screen, you got the sidebar over on the right side. All your safe charts, all your lists are already there for you. So lots of exciting ways to take advantage of that. All right, our second stop on today's tour, number two of seven, we're gonna talk about plugins. now. This is something we've been doing a lot of. We've been building these uh, creative new plugins, exclusive new plugins with partners like Larry Williams and Mark Chaikin, the Simpler Trading Team, Go No Go Charts, Arthur Hill. We've got so many different plugin partners that we've been working with. 
to build these kind of extensions in ACP. Now, some of them are free, some of them are paid, uh, but we've got a whole collection of these plugins. You've probably heard us talking about that. We've heard from a lot of Sharp Charts users, hey, I'm using Sharp Charts. How can I take advantage of these plugins? What, what good are these? What good uh, do these do me here in ACP? Well, that's what we're gonna talk about on our second stop here on today's tour. So for starters, we're gonna go over to the bottom right corner of ACP, and we're gonna open up that plugins menu. Now, when you open this up, this actually shows you all of the installed plugins that you have at the top. Uh, but if you are new to ACP and you don't have any installed, you can come down here to our available plugins section and actually browse through all of the different plugins that we have. Two of my personal favorites are the two that we have developed in-house our, uh, our free advanced indicator pack for all members, totally free, adds seven additional indicators to your charts. Distance from moving average, one of my favorites that's in there, something that I use a ton. Uh, and then our relative volume pack, three flavors of relative volume. We did a whole episode on that a couple of weeks ago and that came out. Both of those are free for Stock Charts members. You can install those very, very easily. Uh, but you can scroll through all of the different plugins that we have here in the sidebar. And if you click this button at the bottom, that's actually gonna open up our plugins marketplace. We can learn more about each one and install them. So first stop, I wanna make sure that everyone is aware of that. But we're gonna combine some of these plugin features with that load symbol only checkbox that we were just looking at. We'll talk about uh, how you can actually start to use some of the plugin indicators and all the features that are built in there. So most of the plugins that we have are indicator based. There is one, that is not, that is our Chaken power gauge. We'll save that for the end, talk about that in a minute. But you see the, uh, the little power gauge logo right there. We're gonna save that for a little bit. Uh, but most of those plugins that you get are actually indicator based. They are basically a suite of indicators that get added to your account. So for instance, in the case of that advanced indicator, indicator pack like we talked about or the relative volume pack, when you add those, it adds those indicators right into ACP for you. So over here in the chart settings menu on the left, in the add indicator menu, you can actually search for any of that stuff. Uh, but we have our default indicators in this all indicator section. And down below that, if we keep scrolling, when you install a plugin, uh, all the indicators included in that plugin will basically get grouped together and placed at the bottom in that kind of group. So you can see advanced indicator pack, we've got relative volume, those are right here for you. So when you add one of those plugins, those indicators actually get added in this menu over here. If you wanna take advantage of any of those, you can come over to ACP, install some of those plugins. You can test something out like, for instance, the relative volume indicator. You can add that to one of your charts. We'll actually take off the RSI so we can see things a little bit better. Eh, let's take off this price relative line as well. You can add this, uh, this plugin indicator to one of your charts. And then let's say we combine that with the feature we were just looking at, that load symbol only checkbox. I can now open up, for instance, the drawer, pull up one of my Sharp Charts chart lists, check that load symbol only checkbox, and now I can actually flip through that Sharp Charts chart list with the plugin indicator in view. So what we're talking about here is even if you're running most of your process out of Sharp Charts, even if that's sort of your primary, you can install any of these plugins, come over to ACP and start to use those with your Sharp Charts lists by just kind of quickly pulling them up. You know, maybe you save a chart style that includes those indicators from the, uh, from the, uh, the plugin that you've installed. Uh, so it makes it easy to access those. You can access all of your ACP chart styles uh, right here. So you could save a chart style that includes some of those indicators and then come over, pull up one of your Sharp Charts lists. And again, start to kind of flip through. Or you could just sort of browse through, you could uh, you know, flip through different ticker symbols, things like that. But the fact that you can quickly throw these, uh, these plugin indicators up on the screen and then actually start to use them with some of your existing Sharp Charts list by taking advantage of that load symbol only feature makes it really, really easy. Now for, uh, for kind of even a crazier example, let's say you install something like the Go No Go plugin. Well, with that Go No Go plugin, we actually give you a sample chart style uh, included in it. So when you install uh, that plugin, you actually get this sample style, sample chart style here, which is sort of the, uh, the preferred go, no, go view. So again, same concept applies. You could pull up that go, no, go view for that plugin. You could come over, pull up some of your ACP, uh, some of your sharp charts, chart lists here in ACP. And again, start to use that uh, load symbol only feature to kind of flip through those charts. 
So even if, <clears throat> even if you are running most of that process out of sharp charts, there are still ways to take advantage of these plugins uh, as you are seeing. It makes it really, really easy to access that kind of stuff. Now, in the case of something that is not indicator based, like our Shaken power gauge, you've got that actually over on the right side of the screen. So the Chaikin power gauge, a plugin that we've developed with Mark Chaikin, his power gauge stock rating system, something that he's very, very well known for. His company Chaikin Analytics has been known for that for a long time. We've now built that feature directly into ACP. So you can actually uh, install the plugin, the, uh, the power gauge plugin, bring that right into ACP. And it basically follows along with any chart that you have up on the screen. So you can see in this case, we're looking at AX. If we go back to something like Adobe, for instance, now the power gauge is gonna update. And this works again with those chart lists as well. So if we pull up that same sharp charts chart list, we can actually start to flip through that list and use the power gauge over here on the right. It just kind of follows along with us. So this is another way to actually start to use some of these, uh, these ACP features for your sharp charts lists. You can come over to ACP, you can load up one of those lists uh, down here in the drawer or in the, uh, in the sidebar on the right side of the screen flip through that chart list and you'll actually get the power gauge rating right there on the side. So another easy way to take advantage of some of these ACP features. Again, even if you're running most of your process out of sharp charts, you can still use things like the, uh, the power gauge stock rating system from Mark and his team. So now onto our third feature of ACP that you're going to want to take advantage of. Even if you're a sharp charts user, we're talking about multi chart layouts. So here in ACP, you can actually create multi-chart layouts with up to 12 charts on the screen. To do that, you look for our layouts feature over here on the left side, open up that layouts tab. You can actually create these layouts very, very easily. You select the number of charts that you want up on the screen, again, up to 12, and then pick your orientation. So when you select any number of charts, we'll actually show you all of the different sort of layout options that you have, uh, different, uh, different configurations that you can use up on the screen. Now we're going to breeze through this. There is so much to cover with layouts. Uh, we've done specific episodes on this in the past. So if you're curious to learn more about layouts, definitely go look up some of those episodes. But what I want to remind everyone of is that these layouts are really a great way to create sort of market dashboards, custom dashboards. You can use them to recreate some of those sharp charts concepts like candle glance, where you're viewing tons of symbols in sort of small charts up on the screen. If you wanted to throw 12 charts for different symbols all up on the screen at once, you could do that. You can also use this to recreate things like gallery view, where you're looking at one symbol, but across multiple time frames. If you turn on this uh, symbol sync option, that's gonna keep all of the charts on the screen that use the same symbol uh, sort of moving together. So when you change one, you'll actually change all of those. So that's a great way to put up maybe an intraday chart, a daily chart, a weekly chart, and a monthly chart on the screen at once turn on that symbol sync option, and then you can actually flip through charts and they'll all change together with that kind of multi time frame analysis. So <clears throat> you can recreate some of those sharp charts concepts, but you can also come here, open up ACP and, uh, and start to build some custom market dashboards just to watch the markets in new creative ways. The easiest way to start doing that is to open up our sample layouts feature. You've got actually some starters there for gallery view and candle glance, but below that we have some predefined groups that make it easy to kind of jump into layout. So for instance, if you want the major market indexes up on the screen at once, all four of those, the Dow, the S&P 500, the NASDAQ, and the NYSE, you can pull up this kind of uh, kind of dashboard view here with that sample layout uh, and use these as, uh, as full feature layouts. They're full featured charts. All of them are interactive. You can actually blow these up, expand them, to take over the entire screen. So you can really start to get creative and actually build some market dashboards of your own just for watching the markets in new creative ways. Even if most of your individual charts are over there and sharp charts, even if most of your, your chart lists are over there and you watch your, uh, your portfolios and everything over in the sharp charts world, you can still come over to ACP and build some pretty fun dashboards. Now, we've got a ton here for you with these predefined groups, things like Dow Theory and New Dow Theory, We've got, uh, here's the, uh, the Dow Theory dashboard with the Dow and the uh, Dow Transports, and then both of those sort of compared. We've got things like an inner market view that's based on John Murphy's approach. So a whole bunch of different asset classes over here on the left, and then some comparisons over here on the right. So you can start to build dashboards like this for yourself here in ACP and really get creative. Ultimately, 
With up to 12 charts on the screen, if you can think it, you can probably do it in ACP. And as you can see, this is actually one of my favorites to pull up, this intermarket dashboard. So, so interesting. Again, having all these different asset classes, we're looking at stocks and bonds and oil and gold and uh, commodities and the dollar all on one screen, and then some ratio charts to compare those. So you can start to build these dashboards here in ACP with these multi-chart layouts features. And again, even if you're just kind of, you know, running most of your process out of sharp charts, but you want a place to go to kind of watch the markets on a daily basis, ACP with these multi-chart layouts is a great place to do it. So I know we're breezing through that one really quick, a lot to explore there, but uh, I did want to remind everyone that those dashboards can be built here in ACP. And once you build them, you can also save those. For, so uh, you can actually save them to your own account. So for instance, here are some of the ones that I've built. Something that I watch, for instance, on a uh, pretty much a daily basis is a couple of different offense versus defense ratios. So I'm able to build this dashboard here and it makes it really easy to come over to ACP, click that on the screen, and then I've got that right there for myself. So uh, these multi-chart layouts features, another thing that you definitely wanna try to take advantage of as a Sharp Charts user for some of that uh, higher level market analysis you're doing maybe on a daily or a weekly basis. We're on to number four, our fourth stop on today's tour. We're gonna to talk about scans. I personally am finding that the best place to run scans is ACP. Now, some of you might be saying, wait a second, I can run scans in ACP? Yes, you can. So over here on the right side of the screen, the second tab down on our uh, sidebar list is actually our scans feature. So all of those custom technical scans that you've written outside of ACP, those can all be run right here in ACP. So all you've got to do is select the scan that you want to run, select the save scan that you want to run from your account and then hit run scan. So for our instance, today we're running a, uh, a new all-time high scan in the S&P 1500. So all the stocks in the S&P 1500 making new all-time highs. I've run that scan here in ACP. Very, very easy as you just saw. And now I can just click through this list and review the charts for this scan. So if you're scanning for you know things that you really want to save and you want to, uh, to want to really dive into them, save your annotations and and all that stuff, then Sharp Charts is a great place to do that. You can run those scans, save them to a chart list, and really start to work with them as you are probably already doing. But if you're running some scans where you just kind of want to breeze through a list of ticker symbols, maybe jot down some notes, maybe save things for later, or come back to some stuff, this is a great way to do it. I run, for instance, this new all-time high scan in the S&P 1500. Uh, I run this every day, and I love to just kind of breeze through the results, make notes of what's uh, what's working, make, make notes of what I want to kind of come back to in the future. Uh, but it's not always about you know annotating everything. It's not always about narrowing this, those results down. Sometimes I'm just kind of breezing through the results to see what's happening out there in the market. So I find that running those scans in ACP, this is a great, great way to take advantage of, uh, of this feature here in ACP. Run those scans, come and breeze through these results. And again, it's very, very easy. Now with this little dashboard uh, or layout feature, actually, if you turn this on and you create one of those market dashboards that we're talking about, you can actually create a layout with up to 12 charts on the screen, uh, turn on this little layouts feature. And then when you click one, it's gonna basically load as many symbols into the layout as it can. So if you create a layout with 12 charts on the screen, you turn on that layouts feature and you click BLDR, it'll pull in actually the first 12 charts uh, right into that layout. So if you wanted to do basically scans and then review them in kind of a candle glance format, little mini charts up on the screen, you can also do that. There are tons and tons of different ways to use some of these features, combine layouts and some of these different indicators and all that stuff uh, with those scan results. Uh, but you can do all of that in ACP. Another thing that makes this really fly, take those plugin indicators, throw them up on an ACP chart, run a scan, and then you'll actually be able to flip through all of the scan results with those plugin indicators up on the screen. So for instance, if we go back, because it's right there, we'll go back to our go, no, go uh, chart style that comes with that plugin. If you, uh, you pull up a uh, sort of a plugin view, like we're doing here with go, no, go, you run a scan, and then you start to click through these results, it won't change that chart that's up on the screen. So you can actually take advantage of some of those plugin indicators, put them up on an ACP chart, run your scan, and then you'll actually be able to review those scan results uh, with those plugin indicators up on the screen. Another great way to take advantage of the scan results feature here in ACP. The last way, the way that I love to do it as well, 
I'll actually get back to uh, to my sort of default chart. So this is what, what happens when I come and run a scan in ACP. I've got a chart that looks like this. I've got my scan results here. And then I'll actually open up this symbol summary feature, which gives me kind of a high level data view uh, for the companies that are coming back from these scan results. So for instance, I can now click through the uh, new all time highs in the S&P 1500. I get my symbol summary right there. I can actually breeze through you know, a summary view. I can breeze through fundamentals and technical, see the scooter ranking, even get a description of kind of what this company does, who this, uh, you know, what this company is. All of that available here in the symbol summary view. I've got my chart, I've got my scan results. This is how I personally like to run my scans in ACP with those two features open. So running those scans and then keeping that symbol summary tab open on the uh, on the right side as well. Another great way to uh, take advantage of some of these ACP features. Again, even if you're running most of your process out of sharp charts, you can take notes of this stuff and, uh, and save those things for later. Uh, but a great way to kind of breeze through scan results here in ACP. Moving on to number five, our fifth stop on today's tour, we're going to talk about alerts. Now, alerts are incredibly easy to create in ACP. We've actually made it so simple to create, for instance, price alerts in ACP. All you've got to do is come down to the bottom left corner of the screen, click that little alert bell. And when you open up this create alerts uh, panel and you hover over your chart, we actually automatically turn on what we call the crosshair. So you'll see that now up on the screen, I've got that vertical line, that horizontal line that follows around with my cursor. So if I wanted to create price alerts for any symbol that I'm watching, maybe something that I own, something that I just bought, uh, and there are so many different reasons why you would create price alerts. But if you want to create a price alert for any symbol at any time, you can jump over to ACP, pull up the chart. And when you open up this create alert panel, all you have to do to create a, an alert is actually click on the chart. So for instance, if we wanted to create an alert in case Lennar breaks down sort of below this, uh, this sort of prior resistance turned into hopefully support here for the stock, we could actually just hover over the chart right at that breakout level that we want to track, give that a click. And over here on the left side, you'll see that that price has been entered into this box. Now we can choose our trigger. So in this case, we might want to track whether Lennar crosses below that level since it's currently trading above that breakout level. So if Lennar crosses below the breakout level that we've set here just by, again, just by clicking on the chart, uh, we can do that in really just a couple of clicks. We set our trigger, we set our price by clicking on the chart. Now we can choose our notification type, uh, whether you want it just on the Stock Charts website, whether you want us to email you, even text you. Uh, and then all you got to do, Click save. There you go. That alert has been saved. Now I find this is the easiest way to create price alerts as a stock charts member, even easier than using our standalone price alert workbench. The standalone workbench is great. It works really well. It's really easy to use, but I love to jump over to ACP and actually set that on a chart by clicking at exactly the level that I want to set it at. For instance, Whenever I buy a new stock, I like to set an alert at that entry price. So if that stock crosses below the entry point that I've actually uh, uh, placed a trade at, I want to know about it. It's really easy to do that in ACP. So every time that I buy a stock, I'll jump over to ACP, pull up that symbol, set an alert just by clicking on that chart. Really, really simple. And then I'm automatically notified anytime that that symbol crosses below the uh, the entry point. So lots of different ways to use price alerts. We have uh, you know always hearing about creative ways to use this price alerts feature. But one of the easiest ways to set those alerts in your account is now right in ACP just by clicking on those charts. So even if you're using sharp charts for most of your process, you can still jump over to ACP, set alerts right here in just a single click by clicking on the chart. A very, very cool feature of ACP. Moving on to our sixth stop on today's tour, we're going to talk about some of those data views over on the right side of the screen. So we looked at chart list over on the right side. We looked at the power gauge over on the right side, looked at scans over on the right side. But there are also a couple of other data views that you actually have available to you on the right side of ACP. So we'll start here with the globe. This is actually our market summary panel. So if you want to just kind of breeze through the market, see what's happening on any given day, you can open up this panel. You get the little sort of uh, you know market cap versus uh, growth core and value grid here to see different corners of the market, how they're performing. Uh, you also have these tabs for uh, different sort of asset classes. So you've got the equities markets, how those are performing, bonds. We've got commodities. We've even got cryptocurrencies in here. This really matches what we have on the dashboard outside of ACP. 
Now below that, you do have specific groups. So for instance, if you wanted to see how the, uh, the sector spiders are performing, how the different sectors of the market are performing on any given day, you can open up these different panels down here below. And whenever you click on any of these, for instance, we'll click on XLC. Now we're gonna get a chart of XLC right there. So makes it really easy to pull this stuff up. If we click on NASDAQ, we're gonna get a chart of the NASDAQ. Click on S&P 400, gonna get a chart of the S&P 400. So this is actually a great way to kind of take that uh, market overview concept from the dashboard and bring some charting into it. Makes it really easy to kind of run through different corners of the markets just by setting up an ACP chart in the middle and then clicking through the different symbols that you want to see. We can do something similar with some of these other data views as well. So for the market movers, again, another concept from the dashboard where we're looking at the most active stocks in a specific group, the top gainers and the top decliners, we can pull up, for instance, the S&P 500. Let's say we wanna look at top gainers on the S&P 500 in any given day. This is something you can do from the dashboard. We have that market movers feature on there for you. But here in ACP, you can get that same data and add in some advanced charting. So it makes it really easy to actually flip through those market movers without having to kind of open uh, you know, new charts in different tabs or something like that, sort of like you have to do with the, uh, with the dashboard. So I find this is sort of the best place to actually come and review some of the market stuff, the, uh, the high level market analysis stuff, what's moving the market here in our market mover section. And then also things like the scooter reports. If you are a fan of our stock charts, technical rank, our scooter reports are right here in ACP as well. You can select your universe, large caps, mid caps, small caps, US ETFs. We got all those universes right here for you. You can select uh, top 10, top bottom, top gainers, top decliners, or you can actually view all of the, uh, the ranked components uh, of any of those universes. So here we're looking from the top down at the, uh, the top rated uh, large cap stocks, where again, if I close that down, you can see we're in the, uh, the large cap universe, open up that all ranked. And again, we can click on any of these to get charts. So if you wanna review some of the scooter reports, this actually I think is the best place to do it now. Jump over to ACP, you got the chart in the middle. You can pull up that scooter list and just start to flip through all of the different stocks that are leading or lagging from a technical perspective. So makes it really easy to breeze through those scooter reports. You can do something similar finally with our ticker cloud. So another great feature for discovering new stocks. This is basically showing you the most popular symbols on stock charts, all kind of weighted uh, by uh, or sized, I guess, according to uh, how popular they are. So the bigger the symbol here in the ticker cloud, the more popular it is. And again, you can breeze through any of these just by clicking on the symbol. So it's a great way to actually use that ticker cloud. Uh, if, you're, uh, if you're using that outside of ACP, give it a shot here within ACP. You get a chart right there next to the ticker cloud. You don't have to kind of open separate charts one at a time. You can just quickly breeze through all of the different symbols on that ticker cloud. So another great way to take advantage of ACP here with some of these data views. We've got our market summary, we've got our market movers, our scooters, and finally our ticker cloud view as well. Finally, our seventh stop, our final stop on today's tour. I wanna to remind everyone that trading is now available through ACP. So we're not gonna demo this one today. We actually did a show on this quite a while ago, uh, but I wanna let everyone know in case you, uh, you haven't heard, our Tradier Brokerage Partnership has launched. We've actually integrated Tradier Brokerage directly into ACP, allowing you to trade stocks, equities, uh, stocks, ETFs, options, tons and tons of different, uh, different options you have available to you for trading directly from stock charts. So there are a couple of different ways to take advantage of this. If you're interested in trading basic equity, stocks, ETFs, mutual funds, that kind of thing, you can do that for free, commission-free trading. All you have to do is sign up for a Trader account. You can actually come over to ACP, log in here with the, uh, the button at the bottom, and down in that drawer space that we've been showing off here in ACP, we've got a whole setup there for Tradier. So when you log into your Tradier account, you'll actually be able to access that account in the drawer. You'll be, be able to trade directly from the drawer, view options change, uh, all of that good stuff right there from that drawer. So you can trade directly from ACP. You also have the option of adding unlimited options trading, unlimited contracts for $25 a month. So a very, very affordable way to trade options. And you can do it again, right from stock charts, right from ACP there with our Tradier brokerage integration. So our seventh stop on today's tour, seventh way to take advantage of ACP. And if, even if you're running most of your process 
out of Sharp Charts. If you're interested in a very seamless trading experience right from, uh, right from your charts, you can do that here in ACP with our Trader Brokerage Integration. I want to remind everyone that that exists. Now you can always come over to ACP, learn more about this here. Uh, you can open a new account right from here, or you can go to stockcharts.com slash tradier for a little bit more information. So uh, definitely check out that page. If trading directly from stock charts is something that interests you, that trader and brokerage integration is a, a great feature that you're going to want to take advantage of in ACP. So I know that we covered a ton on today's show, a whirlwind tour of so many different corners of the platform. I wish that we had more time to dive into each one individually. There's so much there, but hopefully you've seen some good stuff on today's show. Hopefully you've got some ideas, some things that you want to explore. There are so many different corners of this platform, so many different ways to take advantage of it. And again, even if you're running most of your process out of Sharp Charts, I still run a ton of mine out of Sharp Charts, but I love finding value in ACP in these creative ways. Utilizing plugins. We looked at uh, how, to, how to do that in the, in the drawer, how to load in your Sharp Charts chart list, pull that stuff right in there, and then actually add some of those plugin indicators to your charts and still flip through those existing lists with those plugin indicators. We talked about how to run scans from ACP, utilize again some of those plugin indicators, utilize features like the symbol summary right there for you with your scans, it makes those even more powerful. We talked about multi chart layouts, how to build some custom market dashboards, how to review the market summary, the market movers, the scooters, all that good stuff right there in ACP. Talked about how to set alerts. That's a big, big one that I use. Click on your charts to set a price alert. Couldn't be easier. And of course, we talked about trading as well, trading directly from ACP now with our Tradier Brokerage integration. There are so many different things that you can do with ACP. It is a, a huge monster platform with so much included there. Uh, but the best way to learn really is just to explore, to dive in there and, uh, and explore all the different features. So I encourage you to spend a little bit of time exploring some of these different corners. And uh, even if you're running your process out of Sharp Charts, try out some of these, uh, these ACP features. I'm sure you'll find that uh, blending the two worlds is a very viable strategy. That's personally what I do. I run a lot of my stuff out of Sharp Charts, but I'm still using a ton of these ACP features and really kind of blending the two together, taking advantage of those plugins, running scans, all that good stuff. Setting alerts for new buys. That's a, a little hot tip there on today's show, but um, so many different ways you can take advantage of ACP. I want to thank you again for joining me on today's show. Remember, we do this every Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern, uh, up on the uh, the channel, but also on our YouTube channel after that and the on-demand platform at StockChartsTV.com. So lots and lots of different ways to watch, uh, but really helping you get more value out of Stock Charts, helping you see different corners of the website. We dive into the tools, dive into the features. We show you around what's new, all that good stuff. Tell you about things like the holiday special as well. Don't forget about that. Uh, but we do this show every Friday. So if you're looking to get more value out of your Stock Charts membership, your Stock Charts usage, hopefully you'll join me again on next week's episode for another edition of Stock Charts in Focus. Again, my name is Grayson Rose, Vice President of Operations here at Stock Charts. It's been good to be with you. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. But until then, chart on, my friends. Hey guys, Dave Keller here with StockCharts.com. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, and we hope you did, hit the like button right below. Also, we have so much new content every day. Consider subscribing to the channel. Just hit the subscribe button in the video or right below. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Have a fantastic day.